Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're new here, my name is Esther Moffrey. So in today's video, I want to share with you why most forex traders lose money. And I, and when I say most forex traders, it's beginners because remember, this is my sixth month. Um, I'm not here to tell people who have been trading for years and years, I'm addressing the beginners, the beginners, you know, when you watch these YouTube videos and you feel like people have been trading for five years, for three years, for two years, you get intimidated. But if you watch someone like me who have only traded for six months, it will encourage you. So I'm here to tell you my experience, why I was myself losing money and what I changed. And I think most of the people, that's what they do, most so those who are beginning. So if you're interested to know why maybe you are losing money, continue watching don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly consider subscribing so guys without wasting any time let's get down into the video so guys number one thing that i think most number one thing that uh people don't pay attention and it costs them losing money is risk management if you have been watching my videos there's nowhere i'm leaving risk management because this is very 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 important it's very important when i begin when i began trading forex i i didn't pay much attention or much interest on risk management i didn't even understand what is risk management remember you are you are allowed to risk either one percent to two percent of your account you are not allowed to risk more than that because if you risk more than that chances are you may blow your account in just minutes if not seconds so um i didn't understand about risk management i didn't understand that you need just two percent to risk uh in every trade so what i was doing i was using mini um mini lot size and you know mini lot size is the one for 0 0.1 and i started the hundred dollar account so i was risking 20 percent you can imagine guys 20 percent so if this trade goes wrong because 20 percent of a hundred dollar account is 20 dollars so if my trade would go wrong i would lose 20 dollars so how many trades do i have to do if they go wrong and i blow my account five trades we all know that you can trade even 10 day 10 10 times a day you can even trade five times a day so you can blow your account you can lose all that money in just a day and because of trading with a bigger lot size not knowing about risk management not even considering the risk management in my trade so if uh, you want to avoid losing money you need to risk two percent of every trade so if you start with a hundred dollars risking two percent is risking two dollars you are risking two dollars remember you are a beginner you're not mostly after profits you're just saying if i risk two dollars maybe i want one is to two i want four dollars out of this trade i want one is to three six dollars or one is to five ten dollars whichever amount you want to aspire but your risk management it should be in your mind that i'm just risking two percent if you start risking two percent of your account you will minimize the losses of your account even if you lose some trade you will not blow your account so risk management is very 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 important risk management comment down below let me know which lot size you use let me know which lot size you use you need to be risking two percent if you're a beginner start with a micro lot size don't go to mini lot size don't go to 0 0.1 go down to 0 0.01 start from there risking just two percent okay so number um, number two the, the other thing that i think most traders most beginners lose money and i was here is failure of using stop loss and take profit you just place your trade and you don't put a stop loss because you don't want to get stopped out uh when i say stopped out is when maybe the market reverses and it hits your stop loss and it continues with the move that you had entered many people when they notice they are getting stopped out stopped out they stop using stop loss that's that's something that you are doing you're doing you i don't know it's suicide for your account because 
if you fail to use stop loss if this market flips and maybe it, it reverse it's not retesting we know when a market is pulling back or retesting it it is just adjusting and then goes back where it was going what if it is reversing and then now the trend has changed so if you don't have a stop loss you will find that you have maybe you have a hundred dollar account you will find that you have negative twenty dollars you have negative thirty dollars finally you have negative fifty dollars what will you do if you have negative half of your account so stop loss is very very important guys use stop loss and also take profit sometimes i didn't i was not like sure if i want to put a take profit because i thought even if i put like take profit of 50 pips and the market goes 100 pips i thought like i'm losing the other 50 pips no you're not losing you need to have a goal how much pips am i targeting in this trade and this must be every trade before you enter how much am i targeting how many pips am i targeting what is my take profit? What is my stop loss? Let it be clear. If it's almost hitting your stop, your take profit and you start seeing the market is dragging, you can just close it. You don't need to wait for take profit. So guys, yeah. Uh, the other thing that, um, that made me lose money and makes many beginners lose money is greedness. You are so much uh, profit. I call it profit appetite. I don't know. You're so into profit and you want more, you want more, you want more. The market gives you, let's say $10, you want $15. It gives you $15. Ah, let me push it to $20. Let me, you will lose money because you don't need to be over greediness. When you're over greediness and when you are over pushing the market, when it reverses, it reverses so harshly, it takes all the profit that it had given you in the first place and you go at negative and you start losing money. Maybe it, when it hits your stop loss and you had been given, there was a time I would trade, I'm given $40, $40 and I'm like, my target today was $50, let me push, let me push $10 more guess what the market just flips on me and it goes on the negative and i'm wondering what have i done to my account so i don't want you to be over greediness yes profits are well be are good because you are trading to get profits but don't let it to be your <coughs> excuse me don't let profits to be your like your focus no don't let don't allow your profits to be the focus the number four thing is following other traders strategies this really cost me a lot you watch our youtube videos you hear this trader is getting a hundred dollars per trade they are getting a thousand dollars per trade they are moving account of ten dollars to a thousand dollars there are all these types of types of videos and you are there thinking um he said he's using 20 ma he's using this indicator he's using this indicator he's using this type of candle pattern and you copy try to copy all that guess what you will lose money because you don't know why these people are using what they are using you don't know you need to have your own uniqueness you need to analyze the markets yes learn from them but don't come and copy exactly what they are doing before you execute every trade ask yourself is it really worth it what is my risk management these people maybe you are copying and they don't have a risk management and you you come and try to put the same same trade and you will lose money so stop copying other people's strategy come up with your own strategy and it's very simple to come up with your own strategy know what works for you know which times uh, it's best for you to trade know how long can you hold a trade how long can you push are you a, a scalper are you a swing trader are you an inter trader just know you yourself just know the uniqueness in you and with that you'll be able to have something unique about yourself so stop copying other traders leave them alone learn from them but don't copy exactly what they're doing because you will lose money you will lose money the final the fifth thing that um the final thing that i i i noticed that was making me lose money is not having a goal um and you know when you don't have a goal you you tend to be like pushed or waved by everyone everything anything in the news anything on the youtube anything like someone can come and tell you 
you watch let's say you watch a video and someone say just target a hundred clips a day if you don't have a goal you will move out from targeting 50 pips and you go for 100 pips then you watch another video someone is saying it's very easy to just catch 200 pips now again you move from 100 pips to 200 pips then you listen to another video and they're saying gold uh, trading gold is better than trading currencies and all these things and then you start trading gold and then after trading gold you hear someone saying this pair this currency pair is good like you don't have a goal like you're moved you really need to come up with a goal and a unique goal and you need to even buy a like a notebook a journal and write everything down okay number one what is my everyday goal like for me for every trade is 72 pips because i trade a pair that gives it gives per pip 73 cents so i know 72 pips is around uh five dollars fifty dollars or five hundred dollars depending on the lot size that i'm using so when i came up to and I, I just trade one currency at the moment. When I came to, 73, to 72 pips, I knew this is what I want. And I, I get 72 pips and sometimes I forget my rules and I try to push the market. And instead of getting 72, I end up getting 40 pips or 30 pips or even at even. And it's something that I have tried to master. What are my goals? If it, is, it hits 72 pips, I'm out of the trade if uh what times am i supposed to enter the trade how far am i supposed to push market which profits are good what how long should i hold these trades and if you have a goal you will stop losing money because many people they don't have a goal they just trade they can move from one lot size to another today they are trading one standard lot tomorrow they are trading micro to the other day they are even increasing and I, I, it's not about the money in your account. It's about the uh, the consistency. It's about how how efficient you are in the market. Are you learning something? If today's trades, how are the week's trades? Are you allowed to move to the next level? That's how I can put it. So guys, those are the five things that makes people lose money. I was there. I was losing money. So if you have been using or doing any of the what I've mentioned, kindly try to adjust because you will say forex is not working and it is working it is working so just follow if it is your risk management know from today i'm risking two percent of my account if it is the stop loss and take profit always adjust your stop loss your take profit don't be over greedy don't push the market too far and then don't follow other trader strategies have your own unique strategy and the last one have a goal whenever you are putting a trade have a goal every day you're trading you need a goal you need a clear mindset so guys thank you so much for watching i hope it has helped you i'm doing all this content to help someone who is beginning maybe they are stuck they are thinking why am i losing money i'm just someone who have been losing money my first months of trading now i have seen consistent their profit and i have decided let me help someone because we're in the same journey i'm not yet there but i'm not where i am i was when i was starting so guys if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel kindly consider subscribing give this video a big thumbs up until next time bye <laughs>